right, moving on to the next game, we see Lake versus Ewok. Mewtwo versus Cloud. Um, very interesting matchup. Um, I feel like Cloud would want to juggle Mewtwo, but Mewtwo has a lot of tools such as confusion to try and get away from uh, his pressure. And I want to see what Lake can do to pressure Ewok off stage. Mm -hmm. And especially uh, Mewtwo is notoriously you know, famous for that down tilt of his acting almost like his own sword, using that tail to create some space. But right now we just see Ewok and Lake. I want to see Lake really stand back, wait for Ewok to approach, down tilt him in the forward air off stage, and then try and hit him with that Nair to really abuse uh, Cloud's limitless recovery. Oh yeah. If it's um, something that Cloud is not very known for, it's his uh, quite lackluster recovery. Everything else though is quite good. So far we see uh, Ewok making a nice work of Lake. But um, now it's just forced to do Oh, unfortunately, that drops the limit. He drops the shield on the end. Limit the Nair will end up sealing out the stock. Reverse Nair, covering a lot of options. He couldn't. He was. He put that Nair right at ledge that he just couldn't get back. Now, how will Lake respond? How will he try and pressure you off? Oh, this could be a dangerous situation. Oh, and the Nair? Nair? Okay, he's gonna live from that one, but still, he's taking 70%. Just for he being off stage. Exactly, it hasn't been able to pressure him properly at all. Um, I think he jumping to... I'm just, um... Um, I think he's jumping just a little... Yeah, I think he's jumping just a little... Oh. oh, what a nice conversion. Down tilt in the cross slash. Very nice conversion. And, um, well, my boy Rubai is gonna have to go to this match. So, dang, it was nice for him to step it up on the screen to commentate. But that, um, that conversion, just like, Lake couldn't get anything started. Ewok goes using Cloud the way Cloud should be used. Spacing, and just letting him create that space for him that he just can't land his hits. And with Mewtwo not being really having a lot of disjoints, it makes it hard for him to get in sometimes on Cloud. I'm a uh, milk. Yeah. And now I'm joined by milk. Greetings, milk. Oh yeah, you can you can just put my milk underscore D A B. Right. That's my Twitter. Right. And uh, we're, we're on to game two right now. As Lake got a little bit more star than last game, so uh, Ewok still making nice work, but using that disjoint of cloud to still keep him out, and even using jabs a bit more. Nice fast option. Okay, now we see some juggles coming up as uh, Lake is off stage. We read on the roll that up smash, and man, that up smash, no sparks needed, that would kill. And well, Lake's again in a, quite a deficit. Let's see how he'll come back from that. Maybe if he held away, he wouldn't have died so early on that. I'd say that was a pretty good read on Ewok's part. And reading that roll on, using that up smash, nice strong hit to capitalize on that stock. So safe right now. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. gosh. Almost getting him at the blast zone with that cross slash. But just Lake needs some just needs some solid hits, perhaps a few forward hits. That was a nice confusion at the ledge. And he just needs something to get him back in the game. Mewtwo being such a light character, he can he can be in kill range quite early. Especially when Cloud gets that limit back on one. Ewok not really doing anything too committal, staying super safe, pushing his advantage really well. Yeah, definitely. But he's definitely, like most of this game, he's had center stage. Again, using Cloud's disjoint to his advantage, spacing out Lake Smeetu, and just making it hard for him to get in. Now we see both characters at kill percent, yet yeah, one still has two stops. That rage is going to factor in here. Ewok was scouting out for that confusion at ledge. Just a little bit on this timing, but he knows he knows that option that Lake's like going for. Ooh. Like I said, capitalizing on that abused option of confusion at ledge. Using those disjoints, Nair, back air, to seal off that second stock, and that is game two.